Hi, I'm Steve from HDI TuneIn. Here's a quick video showing how to open the Bosch EDC 17C10 and also how to program it using MPPS. So, the first step, you need to secure your ECU to your bench. You can even put this in the vise if you have a vise. And you'll see why you need to do this in a minute. Remove the four T15 torch. And now we're going to heat the ECU to soften the glue. So the glue on these ECUs is extremely strong and it will take quite a lot of force to open it. So by heating it you're going to make your life just a little bit easier. nice and hot. Eye protection is quite common for screwdrivers, tips to break off when you're doing this. So the starting point on this one is just here, it's actually very tight and what we're going to do is we're going to bend it up just enough so that we can get a bigger screwdriver in there. We don't want to break the tip off of the small screwdriver. See so it's sort of peeling up a bit. Give it that up. So be very careful that you don't push your screwdrivers in too far because you could knock a chip off of the board. So get the next one in. And you can even continue to heat it at this point to make it just a little bit easier. So you see it's open on that side but not on that side now. So get the screwdriver in here. So just take your time with this, you don't want to damage anything. And once you've got a big enough gap there, you can push down on this part just here. There you are, you heard the glue break then. Now use both hands and push the lid up like that. And you can also use a Stanley knife at this point to break the glue off. But you see, because I heated it first, the glue is nice and soft. check once the ECU is open is the model of your processor. So this one is a TC1797 and you can also get a TC1796. The difference is that the boot pin is in a different location and also the 1796 has an extra external memory whereas on this one is a 4 megabyte internal flash. So, if you look at the screen now, you should see a pinout diagram and that will also detail the boot pin. So, using your pinout diagram, you can connect can high, can low, ground and power. What I've got here is a pre-wired plug just to save time because I do these quite a lot. And this is the MPPS break box and this is MPPS from AMT Cartex. So this is a full master version with the tricore add-on enabled. And this sets you in at around 4,000, 5,000 pound with all those options. Connect to your computer, and we need power connected to this, and then we need a boot pin. So what I've got here is a spring-loaded pogo pin, 
Um, you don't need a spring pin, just use a needle and then use a clamp like this just to apply some load to it. I don't recommend that you try to solder to the ECU because if you knock the wire, you can rip the track off of the circuit board. So if you've got bad eyes like me, you'll struggle to see this. You might need a magnifying glass, but that looks like it's on there. Next, open the MPPS software. Make sure the power is on before you open the software. And then select ID Micro. This will then fire a pulse to the boot pin on the ECU, which will allow you to access the memory. So there's an external EEPROM, and the processor also has an internal flash memory. And that's what we need to get to. So you see, this is loaded up now. So we've got two options here on this ECU. We've got an EEPROM and we've got an IROM. IROM is internal flash memory. So first, let's back up the EEPROM. This is what stores your immobilizer codes and fault codes and the configuration of the ECU. So this one doesn't take long. It's only a, a very small file. Let's save that. Close it there. So it's very important that you back up the EEPROM. And then if you take a read of the IROM, so read. And programming the ECU is exactly the same as reading it. So we don't need to go into that. Once you've got a read of the ECU, you can email it over to me and give me a description of the remap that you want. And then I'll remap the software and send it back to you. So for the 1.68 valve, I can do uh, 120 horsepower on the stage one remap with 280 newton meters. And that's a DPF friendly remap. If you want to delete the DPF, I can take it to 125 horsepower with 290 newton meters. And if you don't want to do all this, I actually also have unlocked ECUs. And all you do is install the ECU into the vehicle and it's ready to go.